switch that camera good morning my friends it is like i said 11 0 something on the pacific coast so that means 11 12 1 2 uh that means it is two o'clock roughly on the east coast and if you're in between then somewhere in between welcome to another stephanie's crafting corner i think i got that right this time and lots of updates i hope you are all staying healthy and healthy and indoors as much as possible uh i know the outbreaks are getting worse and worse and i know we're gonna have to get worse before we can get better so please just make sure you're staying healthy and i've kind of had to like encourage my parents a little my dad kind of thought it would be a good idea to go to work the other day and he works for the federal government and i am uh I don't know if the word offended is not the word, um, but I am uh, horrified, that's a better word, horrified that his building was open. And my dad loves his job so much because he's the social butterfly. That's where Katie, my daughter, gets it from. And he's the social butterfly and all of his friends are at work. Well, apparently, from what I understand, he went to work and no one was there, but he was supposed to be the only 30, gone 30 minutes and he lives about 10 minutes from his home. He works for about 10 minutes from his home. home. And so my mom figured he'd be back within 45 minutes. He was gone four hours. Now, where'd the man go? That is still says, yep, I, ha I have Stephanie looped saying, where'd the man go? Uh, like a broken record, uh-oh. So we might have to be... Uh... Is it freezing? Yeah, we might have. We, excellent connection, but. He's saying we have excellent connection, but it sounds like we might be having internet problems. Yes. Buffering here, same here. Lots of buffering. Okay, tell him we're going to do a restart. Okay, we're going to do a restart, you guys. Hopefully you see this. He's going to try to restart everything, okay? So hang, hang tight. Now they're saying back okay now. Much better now, working now. Did you already kill it? Now I got a picture now. Oh, okay. So maybe we're going to hang in. Hang on. Let's see. What are we doing? How's it going? You're back. Okay. Working now. You're back. Hello, my friend. It's back now. Okay. That was weird. A little hiccup. Sorry about that. The thing is, and get this. What? Internet. Internet? Well, yeah, it's internet. But everybody's online right now, right? I mean, literally, the world is online because we're all stuck at home. So what else are we doing? So this is flying now. You guys are chatting monsters right now. Look at that. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, dad, we're making him stay home. And any other updates about, oh, the babies. So baby update. I hope you all saw Liam. Did you guys see on Monday? Uh, if you have not seen Liam, you need to go to my No Makeup Monday video that I just taped this week. And you got to see more of Liam than I thought she would ever show you. Uh, she was holding Liam in the background. In fact, You've gotten to see as much of Liam as my parents, the great grandparents. They, I, I was talking to my mom on the phone. I said, "Mom, do you watch my? Did you watch my live?" And my mom doesn't do Facebook, and so she said no. And I said, "Well, go on Dad's account, and you can see a little bit of your great grandson." So you guys got to see more of um, her great grandson than she did until she watched the video. Then she watched it. In fact, Ben and Carter watched it from home, which is so cute that my family's watching my live videos, which is a little on the creepy side because I talk about them. <laughs> they don't really know that I talk about them very much. So I got to watch what I say. Zip. <laughs> so let's see. So you got to see Liam a little bit. I'm going to go see Liam um, later this afternoon. Miller is still in the hospital, but let me tell you, I'm going to tell you guys something. Uh, on Monday, I did my No Makeup Monday, and I asked you all to pray for him because he wasn't eat, taking his feedings. He was only at about 65% of his feedings. And I asked you all to pray for him. And let me tell you, this is the honest truth, and I know the non-believers aren't going to believe me, but this is the honest truth. After that video and afterwards, we got an update from the hospital that he did 91%. His next bottle was 91%. Then his bottle started going up to 100%. Keep in mind, he was at 65-ish for a, almost a week. And you guys started praying for him. He now has his feeding tube out. He is 100% not hooked up to anything right now in the NICU. Isn't that a blessing? Now, I'm just going to ask for your prayers one more time. Let's get him home, okay? Uh, he They've done, he just literally needs to drink like, oh gosh, I'm even going to look it up because it's really a big deal. Um, he needs to drink 
uh, let's see, where am I? Um, hang on. Oh, in 24 hours, he needs to drink 420 milliliters overall in that 24 hours. So we haven't gotten an update. Colin is there right now at the hospital uh, feeding him, and we will find out more soon. Now, Kirsten is still nursing. They're, they're, um, she's pumping and nursing. So uh, the whole fastest way to get them out of the NICU is to have them take bottles. But as soon as they get home right now with Liam, she's nursing twice a day and then pumping the rest. So we're eventually hopefully getting just on nursing because listen to this, listen to this schedule. Now, I obviously know nothing about twins because I've never been around twins, baby infants, preemie infant twins. Now keep in mind, they're preemies and infants and twins. Of course they're infants, dumb. Okay, preemies and twins. They, so they're a little different. And so I'm thinking, oh yeah, you know, just do this, just do this. Well, no, they're specific. They have to be fed every three hours. You know, everything, and they, we have to measure how much they drink and blah, 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 blah. Totally forgot where I was going with all this. Uh, but there's all these rules that she has to, oh, here's the schedule. So here's her schedule. Let's start at noon, okay? Let's say noon. At noon, she feeds Miller, okay? At one, she would feed Liam. And at two, she would pump, okay? At three, guess what? She's feeding Miller again. Every hour, she is doing something. How can you live like that, right? That's just not possible. You cannot do that. So I said, the second those that baby gets home, you gotta put them both on the same schedule. Then we'll worry about the pumping. So, oh my goodness. Okay, let me jump in. Thank you, Sherry. Miller will be home soon. You are right. Um, Stinker Pot's mom, yes. Uh, uh, God is amazing. I Seriously, like I, I've told you many, many times, and Kirsten doesn't want me telling you too much of her business, but it's a, literally a miracle she got pregnant. Technically, it was impossible. And she did this naturally. Well, she didn't do it, God did it. <laughs> but literally, it was impossible. The dot, oh gosh, I can't. Someday I'll tell you all. Um, so let's see. Uh, poor KJ, I know, thank you, April. But she's gonna get there, she's gonna get there. Now, another update. Oh, I have so many updates. Okay, another update. The mushrooms, you guys, these are on flash sale. And hang on, let me put this on here so you can see them. Well, technically the coronavirus is not our fault, but you know what I mean. So we, you will get an email letting you know those literally will leave the warehouse the second they come in. They're only going to be about three or four, maximum five days behind your regular order, but we're literally, we're working on those as fast as we can. Uh, Welcome to the new world. Isn't that insane? Luckily, the, all the dyes are in stock. Uh, China is now awake and moving and, and back to normal. So we're getting all our dyes in. Our stamps are just a little, because they're in the United States. And you know, as you all know, things are shutting down. We do have them, um, they, they're packing them literally at home. And they are, yeah, it's just, we're making it work. We're, so two or three or four days behind, roughly. Um, you probably might not even notice, but if you get your order and those aren't there, trust me, they are coming, okay? They are coming. Um, please don't email Faylene. She's got a ton of emails to deal with. <laughs> Let's see. I wanted to show you really quickly, though. I know some people are new to the two-step stamping. That's on. It's gone. Okay, that's weird. We're having a lot of crazy things happening today. I lost sound for a second. Go back over the mushroom stuff. I think a lot of people missed. Oh, oh, okay. The mushroom stuff. It sounds like you guys missed. So, this solid and the words. Sadly, we're having a little shipping issue because they're made in the United States. Yay, right? They're made in the United States and they aren't able to manufacture as quickly because they have to be very careful. So they, the add-on flash sale stamps are gonna be about two to five days behind. We're gonna ship your order now, whatever we can. Everything else is in stock, okay? Our dies are in stock. Anything else you've ordered is in stock. The mushroom foldits are in stock, don't worry. This, the add-on 
flash sales are gonna be two to five days behind. They're on their way to us. The second they get there, we're shipping them out at our expense extra, okay? So you're gonna get them ASAP. It's a whole new world. Um, we're sorry, but we didn't invent the virus, right? I mean, it, things are things are changing a little bit. But everything else is in stock. You'll get an email letting you know. Please don't email Faylene. She's got a ton of emails to deal with. Uh, but we're good, okay? So you'll get them. Now, a lot of you, though, are new to the two-step stamping, where you stamp one and then stamp the other. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you that a little bit because I don't really I don't really ever do that and I think it's important for you to see so here's an example of the two-step stamping and I know this is a sneak peek that you guys are all excited about coming soon coming soon the seventh if you need to know ha <laughs> ha okay but see how awesome these mushrooms are and let me zoom in that's not colored that is stamped so those of you that do not like to stamp I'm sorry <laughs> those of you that don't like to color you are in the right place because those are all stamped, no coloring. Now, how do you do that? Let me share. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, and I'm sorry, you guys are, you guys are literally like, your chats are so fast I can't even read them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, oh, I love that smell. Um, we are going to grab a stamp and I'm going to grab a block. It's so funny, I always grab the same block. And I have my stamp here. I'm gonna grab some ink. Um, it would have been smart to grab ink ahead of time. And let's grab, oh, let's get a new color. Ooh, let's do cherry. And let's do, remember I told you Ken stole my, um, stole my, um, my ink pads. And so now I have to open up new ones, which is kind of a fun thing. I mean, I don't mind opening new ones. Uh, let's see, that one. And we do have more powdered sugar and forever black on order but again they are um in the united states and so they're shut down we're doing the best we can i might use sunshine instead okay so let's open these really quick um and gosh it's a little dark in here that's a bummer okay let me grab that one and ken's on the chat if you need to see if you have a question for him you can ask him and so let's use these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my licorice, ink that baby up. Now this is the first time I've stamped this one because I had to grab a new stamp set, so it might not be perfect. Oh, well, excuse me for living. Look at that gorgeous thing. Okay, so let's do another one. And we're going to stamp that one. Ah! <laughs> and, or not. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Okay. I'm sorry when I laugh too loud. It probably like kills your ears. Okay. Hold on to the block. Okay. Now there is our outline. I like to do the outline first because then I know where I'm going to color. Well, not color, but stamp. So now I'm going to put that one just back on my sheet. Da, 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 just like that. Now I'm going to get my stamps that match. So I'm going to grab this one. And I'm gonna peel off this one. That's a nice solid stamp. And this one I am going to do in artichoke. I know Mary Grace is loving those gnomes. Trust me, girl, you are really gonna love them. Bernice says she loves the forever black. I'm glad you were able to get it, Bernice. It was kind of hard to, ooh, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Why does that look so good? Look at this ink pad. There is no Nothing, nothing. There's no felt, there's no lines, there's no texture. Look at that, it is just a solid, beautiful surface. I cannot believe that these ink pads are better than my old ones. If you have my old ones though, they're gonna be just as awesome. But look at how solid that is because of that, because of those fancy ink pads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ink that up. And what I do, and forgive my head if it gets in the way, but I literally go right over it, go straight over it. You're gonna see my roots right now because I'm going straight over it and I'm going to stamp. Whoa! Look at that, zoom in, baby. Oh, hang on, I'll zoom in this way, it's easier. Zoom in, baby, look at that. Okay, hello, hello, does that look awesome or what? Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, let's move on to another color, and let's clean this stamp real quick, and all my wipes are not here because they are all around the house, because, uh, what? Can I find you something? Uh, eh, maybe, yeah, please. If you don't mind, I think there's some on the counter downstairs. Kenny thinks. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sunshine. Well, ooh, let's grab cherry. 
cherry. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab cherry and we're going to grab the bottom. Now make sure when you do this, because see this one, it's kind of hard to tell which is the front and which is the back. The front is the smaller end, okay? The smaller side. So normally you'd use a smaller block, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to ink that baby up and we're going to start over here once. Perfect, and then we're going to ink that baby up and we're going to start over here. Now this is a very juicy pad. Very, very juicy pad. So we might do two. Did you get one? Thank you, baby. Let's try a second. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, no. Okay, he found some white bees. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this up again. We're going to go put our head in the way so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to stamp. Look at that. Now that had a little bit of ink, uh, bubbles on it, but that's okay. Look how fun that is. Now, oops, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Get the right ones, get the right ones. Okay, now that's cherry. Now, let's see what else we have. We also, in the original set, have some dots, but this one doesn't have dots. And so we can either color those in, we can leave them white, whatever we want. Actually, this one looks really good with the white. Look how cute that is. But that's how easy it is. And then most of them come with patterns and or solids. So this one has solid, solid, um, solid, solid. Then there's a couple little stems that are little patterns, you know, just to mix and match it to make it more fun. But that is how easy peasy two-step stamping is. It's really fun. It is perfect for people that do not like to color. And guess what? That's me. So that is the two-step stamping. Now, we're gonna move these over here because we wanna make sure we don't lose them because Stephanie is very good at losing things. Putting those off to the side. Uh, gnomes are coming soon, stay tuned for those. And I feel like I had, oh, I have another update on this. I heard from my factory regarding the secret weapons. So as you know, um, these are on order. They have my name on, well, they have the Sam's of Life on them. And uh, we're really excited about these. The factory that makes them has been forced to start making face masks, which is good. We need face masks more than we need new secret weapons, right? So they are on order. We are getting them when we can, but that factory is now making face masks as appropriate because that's appropriate, right? So just an update on that. Uh, let's see. I hope you all are doing okay. I mean, this is such a crazy, crazy time and I need you just to focus on happy stuff. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I, um, you know, Katie comes over and cause Katie literally only sees us or her sister and she's having a really rough time too. I think we're all having a little rough time, right? I mean, it's just, you know, we go, we go, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I love Ken, but my goodness, right? I mean, oh. <laughs> luckily we have different sleeping schedules, right, baby? <laughs> He's smiling. Uh, I mean, poor him. Can you imagine having to listen to me all day? He deserves an award. You deserve an award. That, that's, that's pretty special. Um, ooh, Marianne's checking in from Cape Cod. Is there a date for the mini pads? Carlotta, no, the factory shut down completely. They're in the United States, they're shut down completely. I did get a sample right before they closed of what the screen printing, because this is screen printed on, of what the screen printing would look like, and I could not approve it. It wasn't good enough. Um, I'm kind of picky, which is good. If I'm picky, that means you get a better product. If my name's gonna be on it, it has to be awesome. So we, as soon as they open back up, as soon as this is all over, they'll open back up and we'll work again on getting that screen perfect. Luckily, they already have the colors perfect, right? Uh, so, and it's funny because not only did I have to approve the color in here, I had to approve the color on the pad. So it's really, really important. And so um, that's just kind of something that, you know, we have to deal with, but that's exciting. Now. Uh, any other updates can you think of, Kenny, before I um, make a card? There's a mystery bag. Mm. I didn't even know this. Ken and the team added a mystery bag to the website. To, was it today? Amy sent me an email saying it was live and I didn't even know it was happening. Uh, so there's a mystery bag on the website. What are mystery bags? Mystery bags are like grab bags. You, you're familiar with grab bags and they are this one's a brand new one so if you've gotten one in the past this is a brand new one and it's got a lot of good stuff in it it is stuff that normally you'd pay a lot more for but because we only have you know like 
if we have 20 of something laying around, well, we don't really want to put that on the website because we'd start riots, right? I mean, more than 20 people are going to want that item. So what we do is we put them into the grab bags and then we can sell them as we get them on the website. So there's a mystery bag brand new on the website. Are we good? Kenny's like making noises over here. Are we dead? Are we gone? I don't know. He doesn't know. Let's see. They will tell us. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, Diane. Well, I haven't heard any complaints yet, Kenny, so I think you're okay. Diane said Ken should make a card. Well, let me tell you a secret. Let's see. I want to... Uh, Vicious Glitter has a question too. Okay, so Diane's first. The other day, I was with Kirsten and the baby all day. I was there all day long. And, uh, okay, so they're saying, good idea, back and forth, back and forth. You're still good. Dina's saying we're still good. And I was gone all day. Ken was at the office. And apparently he had nothing else to do. Guess what he did? I am flabbergasted, and I have not seen it yet. I saw the final product, but I have not seen it yet. Ken made a card, but not only did he make a card, he videotaped himself doing the card, and he is going to edit the video, and he's gonna show it to us. Is that the most awesome thing you've ever heard in your life? I was flabbergasted. You literally had to close my mouth because my mouth was wide open like, are you kidding me? So this is really exciting. I've never, I've never thought to, he would ever do that in a million years, which is really exciting. So Lori says she wants to see it. Yes, Ken is going to work on editing that video and he's thinking what, within the next week? Ken? Mm -hmm. He's thinking within the next week he will have that video up on the website which is extremely exciting. I have not seen it yet. Uh, he said it's a very long video and he said he'll edit it down. And I said, do not edit it down. We don't have anything else to do. We wanna watch your video. So it's actually, and the card turned out really cute. I was very proud of him. I'm like, over the last 10 years, he's learned a few things about card making. I'm so excited. So I'm excited to see that video. Um, I bet my family's gonna be excited to see that video. I can't wait to share it with all of you. Now, let's make something. Um, uh, la, 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 la. I'm trying to catch up on all your, um, uh, we love Ken. Lainey says we love Ken. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, wow. I thought I saw something. Okay. Anyway, we're going to move forward. Last Thursday, I made this card on the creative corner and it turned out so adorable. In fact, I think this was one of my favorite cards I've ever made in my entire life just because it's so dang cute. But I was supposed to make a box it card using the, bu the bunny pudgy die. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, I don't even know if I have the bunny pudgy in stock. I should have looked first, but most of you already have it, right? And most of you already have the box it card. So you're good. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the, let's grab this, switch this again. We're going to use the bunny pudgy again, fold it die but it doesn't have to be a card, right? And we're gonna use the box it die. Now the box it die is awesome. If you've never seen the box it die in person, you're gonna fall over because it's awesome. Now, I know most of us are not doing much for Easter. We will be watching um, our church service online and then our plan is to have our children over for dinner. Um, I can't not celebrate Easter, you know? I mean, it's just obviously it's one of those days besides Easter and Christmas are the most important days. And so we're gonna still celebrate it, just uh, obviously a very, very condensed version. Honestly, I don't even know if Kirsten and the babies will come. Probably it could just be the three of us with Kate. We'll see. But. I'm gonna make treat boxes anyway. <laughs> I, what I can do is I might drop them off at the boys' house, at Bennett Carter's house. I might just drop it off and run and um, so they can have a little treat or something. So I'm going to, well, if I'm gonna do it for the boys, I better do a blue bunny, right? Because the boys do not like, um, it's hard because we have, we have my nephew boys, Ben and Carter, who you, whom you've met before, and now I have the boys, the twins, the babies. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the boys, I'm pointing that way because they live that direction, <laughs> so dumb, but we're gonna call the big boys, Ben and Carter, the boys. The twins, and I'm pointing this way because they live that way, <gasps> the twins are gonna be called the twins. Just because, so when I say boys, I mean 
Ben and Carter, when I say twins, I mean the babies, okay? That's the only way we can keep, keep track of all these boys. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to use a blue card. I am going, I'm cardstock. I'm also going to need, and usually I would use the same color as uh, my, my fold it or my die, but because it's on video, I want you to be able to see the contrast, the difference, so I will use white. Okay, so I'm gonna use white for my box it. And what we're gonna, ooh, that's not, this is not normal, that's paper, I don't know where that came from. Um, sometimes I get, well, we'll use this. Uh, well, I really would prefer, there it is, okay. I get extra pieces from the, uh, from the office sometimes and that wasn't real car stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, let me move this over a little. Oh, there's the carrot, let's move all this over. And we are going to grab, clean this joint up a little bit. So there's that, well, let's move those. Okay, it's kind of handy having the bed right there because I can just go. Okay, so we're gonna grab, Cookie's taking a nap on the floor over there. We're gonna grab our machine. Whoa, <laughs> and these are, these are not made to move as much as I move them, poor things. Now, we're gonna grab this. And I know you guys are loving the Spellbinders machine. We literally, I saw like we sold quite a few yesterday. I know some of you are um, getting stocked up on stuff and everything and deciding you need a new machine. I do love this machine. Um, if you have the magnetic platform from the old company, it will work in here. It's a little tight, but it will work. However, I have found at the office, I use just the regular Spellbinders platform. And if I really, really need to, um, uh, have that stick, that die stick to my paper. I just use a little piece of washi tape. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going, to, actually I need to, I'm folding this, which is kind of odd because I'm not making a folded card, but I'm not using the fold. I'm going to switch this, you can see. I am just going to, oh wait, hang on. Okay, so, oh gosh, I messed that up. Hang on, back up, back up. We're gonna fold this one because I want the, real bunny to be blue, but I want the backgrounds to be white. So we're folding this one. We're not gonna use this fold. Let's unzoom a little. Whoops, unzoom, there we go. We are not gonna use this fold. What we're gonna do instead is we're just going to lay our shadow die. Where'd my shadow die go? Oh my word, I lose, there it is. We're gonna lay that down and we're ignoring the fold, but I'm doing this with a folded piece of cardstock so I can have two pieces cut at once just to make life faster. And then I'm going to grab my other cutting pad and I'm going to run this through. Easy peasy, just run that baby through. Just like that. Now, what I have is I have two pieces cut out, one, two, I need two, so I have one, two, just there. And then I'm going to get another piece of white cardstock or something similar because, there we go. Now I'm gonna get another piece of white cardstock and I'm going to die cut my box it. At the same, oh, let's just do that real quick. A little bit at an angle because we don't want any speed bumps and we're gonna run that through. Just like, ooh, ooh. it's got a little bit of speed moves in there. Can you see it moving? Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. there we go. And what we have here is, I almost feel like that was two pieces. Okay, uh, we have this perfect funny looking thing. Okay, put that off to the side. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to get our little bunnies and we only need one because I'm not gonna decorate the back. I don't think I need, well, Actually, technically, well, okay, we'll just do one for now. And I've decided I'm also going to do the fold it in this color because I changed my mind. So we're going to do this at the same time. But the nice thing is, is I have this one that's extra. I'm just gonna put it in the envelope where that die came from and then I'm good, right? Because the storage envelopes, the storage envelopes, oh, I can't show you that, that's a sneak peek. But the storage envelopes are awesome because you can hold your extra pieces in there and then whenever you need something and you, you wanna do this die again, you already have some pieces that are already cut. So you're not wasting anything, which is really nice. I really, really appreciate that because you don't want to waste anything ever, ever, ever. Okay, so we're gonna lay that down and we're gonna run these through. So I'm gonna get a bunny and a box it again. And those, I can feel those speed bumps in there. There we go, okay. And now we have our bunny 
and we have two little ears which I need to make different ears and we have our piece there that funny fold there is from when I folded the cardstock earlier and let's see I think we are going to do a bunny in pink even though my boy well maybe not pink because the boys won't like that let's do lavender pixie yeah whenever I try to tell those I always tease the boys I always say what kind of what kind of um uh, who's your favorite Disney princess? And they always, shut up, ah, ah, you know, they always freak out. They always think it's so funny. They just hate that I tease them like that. And so we're gonna run this through and we're gonna have an extra bunny. So again, we're just gonna put this extra bunny in our envelope. But the most important thing is, is I want these extra pieces in here. So I'm going to pull that out and I have that ear there. And I'm gonna use that little piece too as a little decoration for his tail. So this is my cute little bunny that I'm gonna save for later. And I'm gonna add that right there. And let's do a carrot really quick. We are going to grab, uh, where'd my carrot die go? Ugh, gosh. What's that weird noise, Kenny? I keep hearing that like buzzing sound or something. Hear it out there? Is it a construction or something? Um, do you see a carrot die, Kenny? Oh, there it is, duh. Okay, it was right there. You guys saw it all the time because it's on there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to grab some of our, and actually this is the same ones I used last week. Look, there's my carrot and there's my carrot top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing, just like that. And I probably should have a background on my carrot just in case I decide to use one and we'll use the white. And look at this, look at this, see? I just add it all on there. Just move that over a little. And we're gonna add that little white guy there. And we are good, just like that. And we're going to grab our cutting pen. And, oops, I want that a little bit more. There we go. And we're gonna run this through. Now, Ken and Dina are both at, um, answering your questions on chat. Uh, obviously, I'm like a little preoccupied. But if you see Stephanie on there answering, then that's really uh, Dina. Uh, okay, so now what we have is we have lots of fun stuff. We have our carrot background, just in case we decide to use that. We have our carrot. Now, remember, this has the adhesive on the back. We are saving that. We save those forever, right, until it's all used up. Got a lot of use out of these already. Definitely stock up on the adhesive sheets. Luckily, we have a lot in stock. We have more coming because in the past, we couldn't keep it in stock. Okay, now let's get busy. Dun, 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 dun. Now we'll move this. Now let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, we have our bunny. Let's decorate our bunny first. And I want to add a little bit of extra something something to my bunny, right? So I'm going to grab this off to the side. I'm going to get my scratch paper, which check this out. Look, this was my scratch paper from last week. And it says bunny treat box to remind myself to do a bunny treat box. But let's turn it over just so we don't get any extra ink. Let's grab our brushes. And I always get this question, so I'm gonna answer it before I get it. My brushes are in my Sue buddy bag. My Sue buddy bag holds all my brushes. And so one of these days, I will get organized enough to have washi tape on the back to tell me what color. But I know that one's blue, so we're good. And we are going to get some of our ink pads. And let's do, dun, 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 let's do this one. Okay. This is sea glass. So we're gonna grab some ink. Check it out over here. Okay, grab some ink. Okay. And we're just gonna go along the edges. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 around the edges, a lot on the ears, a lot on the ears, and get the tail, get the ears more. Kenny's not liking how dark it is, huh? It's a little dark, I think. Okay, we're gonna do that around and around, around and around. Get on his little right there okay now we are also going to need some purple on these little ears because we want purple on those little ears I'm gonna grab my no, that I just threw and we're gonna grab some pixie I'm starting to wonder where all my other little ink pads are I wonder what happened to them a little concerning and let's try this brush 
Oh, that one's a, that one's a yellowish green. One of these D's, Dina will come back to my house and she'll arrange these for me. Right, Dina? Okay, so let's get a smaller one. Okay, so let's grab this one. Smaller little spots, so we're just gonna... Oh, look how cute. Let's color them in a lot. Sorry I'm not seeing your chats very much, you guys. I'm trying to get this done, too. Okay, but the, I have two people answering your chats. Okay, so we have our little ears. And now what we're going to do is we are, oh, I like to do the eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke the eyes out. And I like to just add a little piece of cardstock in the back. Um, actually, the nose we're just going to color. And we are not playing with those teeth this time, you guys. You guys really like doing those teeth. I wish I had a white gel pen. That would be the best for the teeth because those were way too small last time. But I am going to, oh, where's my purple one? Look, 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 look. See, I have the little purple one. I'm gonna grab his nose <laughs> and I'm gonna switch his nose out. I can't do pink because the boys would get mad at me. Okay, let's get, uh, and I'll show you a trick on how I'm gonna adhere that. But let's get some pearl, let's get some dark gray, or let's see, what color eyes do we wanna do? Um, blue might be kind of weird. Um, you know what I don't like? I don't like bunnies that have red eyes. They freak me out. So again, we're gonna use the same piece we used last week. And we're just gonna grab a piece like that and like that. And we are going to adhere that to the back of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some adhesive and we're just gonna add a little bit of adhesive there and around there. Actually, we're gonna have to add adhesive to all of this eventually, so we might as well. Oh, but we don't want that piece in there. Okay, get out of there. Okay, so we're gonna add that right there. So now he has eyes, see? Now he has eyes. And then for the nose, what we're gonna do is we're going to, this is what we're gonna adhere him to. We are going to add adhesive right there where his nose is gonna be. And then we're gonna add more adhesive to this, his ears, okay. And, oh, you know what? Do those have adhesive on the back? They do not. Ooh, look, tricky, tricky. I'm gonna add adhesive right to this and right there where the, where the ears, the inside ears. Oh, and where the tail is. Hang on, hang on. Where the tail is, okay? So I actually technically have adhesive on this and on that. Now, why did I add adhesive to this? Because I want to add something right here and I can't add adhesive right here on this, right? It wouldn't work. So I'm gonna lay this guy down, but keep in mind I have adhesive there, 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 and there on the white. I'm gonna lay him down. Oh my goodness gracious, he's so cute. And then, remember I have adhesive on the white, so I'm just going to drop his ear in. And I'm gonna drop this ear in. And I'm gonna drop his little tail in where, oh my gosh, where'd his tail go? Oh goodness gracious, where'd his tail go? I lost his tail. <gasps> Kenny, I lost the tail. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, no, sorry, it's right here. Okay. Um, See how emotional I get over losing the tail? <laughs> Poor Ken, can you imagine living with me? I can't imagine living with me. And we're gonna add a little bit of... I'm so excited to see Ken's card, you guys. Come on, is that the coolest thing you've ever heard in your life? I'm excited. Okay, so now remember I have adhesive in there, so I'm gonna add just a little bit right there. Look at that, and then where'd the nose go? Oh gosh, why didn't I keep the nose in a safe spot? Oh my goodness. Why do I not like think of these things ahead of time? Oh, there he is. Look, oh my gosh, look how little the nose is. How would I ever find that? Okay, so we're gonna, I already have adhesive back there. So look, I'm gonna add the cute little nose. Look, look how cute our little guy is. Isn't he cute? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to, now remember, I'm gonna save that little piece there. I'm gonna save these little ears for the next time. In fact, if I wanted to, I could just make his opposite twin and use these pieces to make this one right now, but I'm not going to. Okay, so we have this on there and he needs a carrot. Where does carrot go? Oh, let's grab this. And I'm just gonna give him the carrot uh, on himself right there. I'm not gonna worry about putting the background on there. I'm sometimes, I'm noticing, sometimes I don't like using the um, backgrounds. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I usually will give you the backgrounds just in case. What do I mean about the background? I mean the shadow dye. I usually will give you the shadow dye no matter what, um, but sometimes I don't use them. Okay, so I'm gonna add the little green top right there. 
cute, cute. And then we're gonna make our box. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy off to the side. We're gonna grab this and we are going to fold the box it. Now this is so easy, all you do is fold, fold, fold on all the score lines. Fold, 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 flip it around, fold, fold. The score lines are nice and nice deep, very deep, so you can really see them. That one didn't work. Really see them. Then we're gonna go fold, 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 and fold. Okay, now here we have our little box. This is the bottom. See how it's a bigger square than all the others? That's a rectangle, that's a square. So that's the bottom. We are going to take our little guy. Okay, here's his bottom. We're gonna add adhesive to all of these tabs on I think almost every box, I, I think every box I ever made. You always add adhesive to the top of the tab, okay? Adhesive goes to the top of the tab. And Ken and Dina are answering your questions as, you ch as you're chatting. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the flat end of this and I ended up doing the exact same. Oh, I was gonna do the blue. Oh gosh, I'm such a, okay, start over. I want you, I, the reason being is in real life I would use the white, but I need you to be able to really see what I'm doing. And the best way to see what I'm doing is to use a different color. Now you can use a different color at home. You could even use scratch cardstock for this pretty much just because no one's really gonna see it. But on video, it's always better, or when I'm teaching, it's always better to, for me to do a different color for you so you can see the difference. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, again, top of the tab, adhesive on the top of the tab. And we're gonna grab here. Okay, now we have our flat bottom. So here's our flat bottom, here's our my bunny's bottom. <laughs> my bunny's bottom. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can really see. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see better. If I can, I can never find the zoom on this, Kenny. It's so weird. There it is, okay. So there's my bottom right there, and here's my the flat end right here on the bottom. I am going to press that down at the very bottom here. I'm just gonna press it down. I'll show it to you what it looks like in just a second. Press down, so there I have it at the very bottom. See, there's the bottom. You can see the white. And then I'm going to fold this around my bunny. So I'm gonna follow the edge of my bunny. And that's why it has all these hinge marks on it. So you can literally fold it around what other fold it, whatever fold it you are using. So I'm gonna fold it there and I'm gonna press it there. And then this one is gonna come all the way there. Now, I can leave it just like this so it'll have a little tiny opening at the top. But if that opening's not big enough, I can trim these extra panels off to make it a bigger opening. So I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to get my scissors and I'm gonna trim this last panel off on the score line. There we go. Now I have a bigger opening when I put my thing on there. I'm gonna leave the other one up because I don't need that much more opening. Now I'm gonna lay him face down again I'm gonna take his twin that I literally had cut earlier, remember? And I am going to layer him, make sure it's the, it's the mat, it's, don't do it backwards because then the tail will be the wrong way. This is just the back. And I'm going to lay this down right on here, gently, and I'm gonna finger press just the bottom. Then I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna put my fingers in there and I'm gonna press on all those little tabs. Okay, press, press, press. And now, guess what I have? I have the cutest little bunny box you've ever seen in your life. It can hold just about anything. Let's put some ink pads in there. You can put some little treats in there. I'm gonna show you the main piece in just a second. But look at how cute that is. Any of our foldits will, whoops, that one's not pressed down. Make sure you press down. Any of our foldits can be made into a box. Now, not only do I have a card using that bunny foldit, I could have made a bunny shaped folded if I wanted to card. Then I have a box die right here. So cute, so cute. And I even dun dun dun, dun could make this a banner as well. Whoa! I know, is that the most coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? Kenny, are there any questions that I need to answer in person or are we doing okay? I really saw this question last time. I also, um, it's coming up again. Somebody wants to know how to read ink. 
Oh, good question. Somebody's asking how to re-ink the ink pads. Fantastic question, let's answer that. So what we're gonna do, let's kind of clean up a little bit um, so I don't get everything messed up. And I did have an ink pad that was kind of, where, where's that, where'd that pixie one go? Oh, here, duh, it's right in my little box. So let's ink this pixie one, if I can find the pixie ink. Let's pull this out and let's see if we can find, oh, there, look at that, look at that. It's almost like we planned it. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so what we're gonna do, it, let's zoom in. So this one was kind of, it's getting a little light, right? Well, it's not that light, but it could be a little, it, if it was a little light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ink, our, our, there's real no real wrong, blah, blah, blah. there's no real wrong way to do this, but this is the way I do it. So what I do is I take it and I gently squeeze, gently squeeze to get some ink on there, gently squeeze, gently squeeze, gently squeeze. So I kind of have it on there. Then I'm going to not squeeze anymore. I am not squeezing, I rub it in. Do not squeeze anymore, no squeezing. I just kind of rub it in. So it's getting all over coverage. Then I turn it this way. Don't squeeze your bottle, no squeezing. No ink is coming out right now. I'm just kind of running the inks around, moving it around, because this is a sponge and I just want to make sure that I'm getting even coverage. Just like that, and that's all I do. Now, I can test this ink pad, and let's see, and normally I don't do it this way, but I can test it. Much better ink coverage, much better. And I can see it's a little darker in spots, so if I want, I can go back over, add a little bit more ink, and then I'm just gonna rub it in just like that. And that is how I ink my ink pads. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Don't overthink it. People like to overthink it. Do not overthink it, just do it, okay? That's like the biggest thing. Just do it. It's it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And sometimes if I want just like a little bit of ink, if I'm watercoloring, um, I will get acetate and you can use your ink pads or you can just get some acetate like this has a plasticky on it. I could just drop one or two inks on here and use that with my watercolor brush. So the re-inkers are really nice. In fact, that's why we sell them with our big ink pads because you just need ink, right? You just, just do it. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Any other questions? Couple questions. Okay, think, Kenny has more. I think this person she wants to see it the the A two gotta have because I think she doesn't think you always keep it right where you. <laughs> she said she doesn't believe I always keep the A two right where I have it. Look at that. Maybe. What? Maybe that's what she means. Oh. I'm not sure. oh okay, he's not sure. <laughs> Yes, I always have, this is the A2 card base. This is the die you have to have because how many times have you taken a piece of cardstock and you've cut it in half perfectly and you've scored it in half perfectly to make the perfect A2 size card, but the corners don't line up. Happens every time, it's a conspiracy. That's why you need this die. It's the die you have to have. Uh, I have probably the original packaging over here somewhere, um, but I literally leave it out on my desk. It literally sits right there. Um, but let's see if I have the original packaging. Oh, here's one. This one's actually back in stock now. There's a couple of them. In fact, the packaging says at the bottom, the die you have to have. It makes an A2 card. Um, this is the flower and vine. It is now back in stock which is very exciting. It was out of stock for a long time. There's also this one. This is the background and kind of some of them you want to have all of them, but you know, I'm a big background dye person. And so you're getting different background dyes in all of these. So this one has that beautiful, um, this is the dragonfly one. This has that beautiful, uh, here, let me show you. It has this beautiful dye in it, which is really pretty. Is this on the website yet? Coming soon. Oh, coming soon. <laughs> That's awesome. What, an, what a goober. I, send, I show him something. Buy this. Well, you can't. Sorry. Okay. Let me see if I have any others right here. Uh, oh, we have the rounded edge one, uh, which I don't have right here. But well, there's a lot of bases. Now, another fun base that I really like. This is one I took on HSN and now we have on our website. But it is the elegant edge one. And hang on. Let me, pull, let me flip it. The Elegant Edge one is really nice because it has this gorgeous edge, but it also has these big dies that you can, whoops, I gotta zoom out. It also has these big dies that you can drop in and you could add the little uh, leafies or add the little swirls and you get to change the inside pieces. So it has a heart or a hello 
or a flower or a bow and it also comes with thank you so this one is so large it has an extra piece that comes with it so that one's really fun that's one I took on HSN that is now available on our website again it makes an a2 size card still so lots of options for you when you do the card bases I'm a big card base person hence the fold it dies and things like that because that's like the foundation of your card making and you really need to have some good ones it in your arsenal any other questions Kenny that one goes with that Kenny Kenny and Dean are doing a really good job keeping up with all the questions oh I have one more update for you I got to make sure this gets back in before I forget I have one more update for you literally Okay, so I got out of the shower. This is way too much information, I'm sorry. I got out of the shower and uh, I checked my email really quick. I check my email at literally all the time, 1 a.m. I'll wake up and check it. I check it at 4 a.m. And then I, when I wake up before I get out of bed, I check my email. And then uh, right when I got out of the shower, I checked my email because I was on the computer all day, but then I had to jump in the shower before this. And then I got out of the um, shower and I'm getting dressed and I check my email and there's an email from HSN. And she had a couple questions about my July proposal. And she's already committed to some of those items for July. So guess who's going on HSN in May, June, and now July? Is that the most awesome thing you've ever heard in your life? Maybe from California. May, I mean, Kenny's laughing because it might be direct from California. <laughs> uh, there is a good chance, especially for the May, we will be coming to you from our warehouse and my other desk at the office. Uh, our plan, we might have to Skype call. That's what they're doing now on HSN. They're Skype calling in the, the, um, the guests because of the no travel situation. So I might be coming to you direct from my office, which the wavelengths will go from California to Florida to you, which is pretty exciting. Imagine what we can do in technology nowadays. But the good news is, is they have placed, they, they've already committed to July, which I'm very excited about. And there's some fun Christmas things coming on that one. Just saying, and all exclusive to HSN, even more exciting. Kenny, any other things you would like me to say before? Talk about the club special we're doing. Oh, okay, so here's the deal. We are having a little club special. Those of you that have never been to our website and you're just flipping through the channels and you see this one, my name is Stephanie Bernard and I, along with my husband, own a company called thestampsoflife.com. We make cards and, or st and stamps, rubber stamping. Well, we have a club and I know 99% of you watching are already in the club, which I want to say thank you. If you add to your club, if you're in the stamp and die hard and you add the kit club or you're in the kit club and you add the stamp or die hard, we're having an extra special or you're not in the club at all and you want to join a club. We have an extra special deal going on in the month of April. Actually, we have two. If you join one of the clubs, any one, I don't care which one, um, brand new, you will get a stamp set free and a die set free. Normally we just give you a stamp set free. You get a stamp set and a die set free. What? I know, right? In any of the clubs. So if you join the stamp club, the die hard club, or the kit club. Now, an added bonus we're doing just for the month of April, if you add the kit club, like let's say you're in the stamp or die hard club and you add the kit club or you join the kit club, not only do you get the stamp and the die, you are also getting a free paper pad. I know, right? I mean, it's like, we're just like paying you to be club members. Now, why are we doing this? Because normally we're out there visiting with you. We're out there in your city or a town near you and we're not able to travel. And we want to make sure everyone is sharing the love and we're really excited about that. So we are offering these extra specials. Now, if you're in the club and you're already a gold member, what's a gold member? That means you're in this Die Hard Club and the Kit Club. That means you're in both. And you're like, well, I want something. Well, guess what? If you refer a friend, go to your go to your account on our website and go to the club point section. And there's a spot where you can refer a friend. If you send an email to a friend, we do not keep the emails so we don't spam them if they don't want our emails, our newsletter. But if you send an email to your friend and your friend joins the club, you both get extra bonus points for doing that, okay? You get bonus points for referring a friend that joins and your friend gets extra points, not only 
they get points for joining the club, but they get bonus points because you referred them. I know, I told you we're paying you to be club members. Now, let's say you are brand new to us or you've never joined a club and you want to join the gold club. The gold club is again, all of our clubs. You get a 20% discount on everything else you purchase on the website. If you join the, the gold club, that means you join the die hard and the kit club. So you're getting a free stamp and die over here, a free stamp and die over here, and a free paper pad over here. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, five free gifts for joining the gold club. How can that be right? That's amazing, right? Five free gifts for joining the gold club. I know, I know, that's awesome. It was Dina's idea to add the extra paper pattern, paper, pattern paper pad in there. So that's exciting. I know, month of April. So if you join right now, you would start with the mushroom set. Um, if you join the kit club right now, you would start with, do we have any March sets left of the kit club? Get down to the bottom. He says we only have a couple left. So you would start with the March and then you would get the freebies and then you'd get the April set as well. Uh, the kit club, I mean the clubs are really awesome. There's only a three month commitment so you can check us out and try us out and you're gonna fall in love with us and you get club points and you get discounts on our website. I have to tell you something though. This is very concerning to me and I sent Dina an email about this because I'm very, very confused. When someone comes to our website and let's say they're brand new, they've never heard of us, okay? There's, it's possible, there's people out there that have never heard of us. Um, that's why Refer the Friend is very special to us because you know we're hoping that you'll share the love. Let's say somebody doesn't join the club, but they buy a lot of stuff on our website. Well, our, compu our, our internet or our website figures out, hey, Mary that just placed this order if she would have joined the club, she would have saved $17.15. I'm making up a number. So we send her an email, say, Mary, I bet you didn't know this, but you would have saved $17.15 on your last order with us if you would have joined the club. But don't worry, we got your back. If you join the club right now, you get all the free gifts and we will give you a gift card for that $17.15 that you would have saved if you were in the club. So we're giving her a discount on her last order in, the, in a gift card because we, we figure she didn't know, right? Here's the deal. I see those offers because I get a copy of the offer when they send it to Mary or anybody else that orders. And I cannot tell you how many times I see Mary would have saved $17.15. Barbara would have saved $14.12. Karen would have saved $12.17. And you know what? They don't join the club. Now, the club is only $11.95 a month, but Mary would have saved $17.15, so literally the club would have been free. It makes no sense. Now, I know I'm not that good in math, but wouldn't you rather pay $11.95 and get all the free gifts and get the stamp set that comes with it wouldn't you rather pay $11.95 and get all that than pay $17.95 and not? So you pay $17 something extra over here for your order, or you pay only $11.95, so you're still $6 ahead. So you save $6 and you get a free stamp set and you get all the free goodies, the stamp set from the kit club, I mean from the club stamp. It makes no sense. I'm trying to figure that one out. Commitment issues, is that what it is? I don't understand. Help me out, you guys. I don't understand. Anybody else? Shirley says she will remain a Gold Club member as long as possible, even if you have to trim in other, in other areas. Bless your heart, Shirley. You know I love you. Um, and, and so that's just something I don't understand. Now, also, in 10 years of being in, 10 and a half years now, being in business, we've never raised our prices on our club. Eventually, we're going to have to. But if you are in the club, you are a price guarantee for as long as you're in the club. So those of you that started 10 years ago, you've never gotten a price increase and you never will as long as you stay in the club. I will never, once we raise the price on the club, you're price lock guarantee as long as you're in the club. Now, if you drop out for three months and come back, you're going to have to pay the higher price. But for now, anybody that, forever, 
anybody that's in the club, your price will never go up. Postage goes up, costs go up, payroll goes up, rent goes up, but we do not raise your club price. Just saying. Okay, so it's another benefit, which is kind of cool, huh? That's awesome. Okay, well, you know what, you guys? I need to head out. Um, Lori S. is best club ever, fan since 2009. Lori, yes, you have been in the club since 2009. In fact, remember, you won our first contest we ever, ever did. I think the second month we ever did in business. I still remember you holding that stamp set and taking that picture. I totally remember that. And I remember your granddaughter's name. Tell Michaela I'm sorry I didn't remember on that one video. But of course I remember Michaela. Love her and I hope she brings me a card next time I get to see you guys. Uh, let's see. Grinelda says she's keeping her club no matter what. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, you guys. Um, Meg says she's stopped all of her clubs, but she's not gonna stop th the stamps of life. Thank you so much. Um, you know what, you guys? We totally appreciate you. I pray for you all. I pray for our club members. I pray for our customers. Um, in these times where life is really, really crazy, um, it's just so nice to get to see and talk to you. I don't get to see you really, but I get to talk to you via chat. Uh, I, I try to follow. Oh, we have a Facebook fan page. Make sure you go check out that. Also, upload your projects to our gallery. I get to see the ones that are in the gallery. And sometimes on the Facebook fan page, I, I can't keep up because I, I don't, don't ever message me on Facebook because I'm seldom on there. But I can't keep up on Facebook. So go add them to our gallery too. I want to see them. But I just want to say I got to head out. But I just want to say thank you so much for your love and your support and your prayers. Let's get Miller home. And I can't wait to take a picture. Christy Jarvis gave me a frame that said twice the blessings. And she said, I want you to put it, I'm gonna cry. She said, I want you to put a picture of you holding the babies at the same time in this frame. And it's literally, Christy, it's still on my kitchen counter waiting for that picture. I have not gotten to meet Miller yet. The second I get to hold both of them, I'm gonna take that picture and put it in that frame. So thank you very much. Thank you all so much. I can't wait to see that video Ken did. I will join you in this Monday for a No Makeup Monday. It's not really a scheduled time.